<laughs> Hi, I'm Dylan M. Blackthorn, and uh, today we're going to be converting a regular full-size sand key beer keg into a 15-gallon brew kettle so I can have something to put in my stein here. Now, uh, as you can see, we have a regulation Sankey keg here, ready for conversion into a brew kettle for homebrew. And uh, about to get started. So for this operation, we're going to need an assortment of flathead screwdrivers, which we have here, a one inch crescent wrench, and some needle nose pliers. Okay, the first thing you've got to do is degas the beer keg. Now we're doing this outside so that we don't get covered in beer. Now we're going to take this crescent wrench and use it as a lever to release the pressure built up in this ball joint here. We're going to stick the tip of the wrench under this tab and pry this way against the ball joint, releasing the pressure. Stale beer. Now that the keg is degassed, we can move inside. Now we're going to remove the lock ring from the ball valve. Most people have a lot of trouble with this, but it's really not that hard. The key is having a screwdriver with a flat head that's small enough to fit into this slot right over here. All right. You see this is your lock ring. This holds the ball valve which is connected to the spear down inside the keg under pressure. So all you have to do is pry the tip. See that's the tip there of the lock ring. You pry that out like that. Tip comes out and it's super easy. Comes out just like that. Then you got your lock ring. Now we can pull the spear out of the keg. As you can see here, you have two slots. Attached to the spear are two tabs. You have to rotate this whole thing around until the tabs line up with the slot. Sometimes you gotta give it a little hit. Want to keep the stein safe. Hit both tabs equally. There you go. There's your Sankey keg disassembled. Now we're going to disassemble the spear. If you look real close, you can see there's a spring in there. It's holding this whole unit together. The spring is pushing up that way against these fl this flange. See, what you've got to do is push all three of these tabs down at once. I've got an idea. Oh, 
Oh, it's coming! It's coming! There's your lock ring. There's your spring. There's the top of the spear. And here's your ball valve. This tutorial brought to you by Kegerators.com. <laughs>